Hey up crew and welcome to my eighth vlog. Welcome to October. I'm kind of letting the side down by not wearing any pink right now, but happy Mean Girls Day. It is also exactly one month that I'll be getting married. So one month to go. So I currently have the week off work for my birthday. My birthday is the 5th. So I am turning, I'm, I'm turning 30 in two days. <sighs> last, my last two days of my 20s are coming up. I got back from my hen do. I did include some footage of my hen do in my last vlog. So if you've not seen September's vlog, go check it out. I came back on the 1st of October uh, after a long train home in my pink tracksuit feeling sorry for myself which is exactly what I predicted in my last vlog I did predict that that was going to happen I was so tired I think I literally survived my hen do with about four hours sleep in total both days I don't know how I did it but that's how it happened still feel like I sound a bit I wouldn't say husky, but I feel like I feel like my voice box is working over time at the moment. My birthday celebrations do start today, so I am seeing Delilah Bon and Scene Queen at Leeds tonight. I need to think of like a Delilah Bon suitable outfit. I do have some of her merch, but I wanted it to be like really bimbo core pink for Scene Queen, but the merch I have for Delilah Bon isn't really pink. So I don't really know what to wear. I'm having like a clash of um choices And then apparently I've got a week of surprises. Sam says I've got like three days doing something for my birthday. I have no idea what it is. So it's the first time in my life I'm having a birthday surprise. I've always like planned what I'm doing for my birthday. So it's quite a nice change to have a surprise. I just have no idea where I'm going.
recording button. Hey, look at that. I don't know where the mic is, though. Oh, my God. Why does... I don't know if this is going to come out, like, differently on the PC, but the sort of saturation levels or the colour... It looks like I'm in a Twilight film. <laughs> I look like I'm in Twilight. So I don't really have a handle for this. So we're just going to use my hand for now. But hey, this is my birthday present. So I should be coming at you in high def right now. The first ever video I recorded for my vlog on this camera. I'm hoping to use it for a lot more stuff, a lot more content. I just need to get the hang of using it. It's a Nikon Z50 that um, Sam got. Apparently it's really good for vlogging because it's the best of both worlds. It takes good pictures, but it's good for video stuff as well. There's accessories that I can get for it to make it work for stream, but they're pretty expensive. So I'll probably be saving up for them in the new year. <laughs> so it might not be a streaming accessory just yet, but it will be something I can use well, I can use for vlogs. I never did photography as a class. I never did photography or media or video classes or anything. So my knowledge on all the buttons on this camera is very limited. Like the lens, it took me ages to figure out how to turn the lens to open it. It's the first clip and I wanted to just kind of have something in the vlog showing off the new quality of camera that I'm potentially going to be using at some point um, and also to just play about with my new present so that was mainly it but yeah that's all <laughs> and then I think there's some sort of family meal happening that Sam's organized as well which I actually want to I want to decide if I want to order a new outfit for it. But I am currently broke from the Hindu, so I have no money left, to be fair. So I shouldn't really be buying a new outfit. I'm picking up my wedding dress later on in the month after it's been altered, so that'll be in a couple of weeks' time. And then it's Halloween and then I get married, so as soon as we get nearer closer to Halloween, the closer it will be to me getting married. I have no idea what I'm going for as Halloween. I haven't picked an outfit. I suppose I could use my plum bob and go as a sin. Um, I know this year everyone's talking about going as Barbies so that we can all say hi Barbie to each other. Um, so I might I might decide if I want to go as a Barbie. I want to go as like one of my Barbies that I had. I can't remember what she was called but she had like spinny hair. She had blonde on one side and purple on the other and she was like a pop star. She would be a cool Barbie to go, to go as because she had like a fur pink jacket and then like silver trousers. She was really cool. What else are we doing this month? I've forgotten what we're doing. Don't mind me, I'm about oh. <laughs> Not getting anything in. <laughs> it's quite nice to have some company in the house, which is different to normal. But yeah, October is mainly all about my birthday and Halloween. Always has been, always will be. I obviously have Halloween off this year because it's on the same week as I get married, which always works out quite nicely. I always take a week off at Halloween which then means I also then get my anniversary off. But now I'll have my wedding off as well. Oh my God, what is my fringe doing? Does anyone else have this where you like make your fringe slightly normal and then you decide, oh, I forgot to do my skincare. So you do your skincare and then it just misbehaves for the rest of the day. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna go with that. Yeah, this is my last day at work before the wedding. So it is officially a week today. It's Friday, last Friday of October. Um, I'm getting all of my outfits for Halloween ready. So I did the Bride of Frankenstein, but kind of like a green version of her. For my Twitch streams and my content, I've kind of gone for like wedding theme makeup. So I've just bought some blue face paints to try Corpse Bride for tomorrow morning. So I'm literally gonna get up so early tomorrow morning and be painting myself blue. And I'm gonna have some friends over tomorrow night just to kind of enjoy some Halloween music and drinks, celebrate a little bit. I've decided I wanna be Barbie for kind of my social Halloween things. So for the first time in my life, I've bought a wig. Yeah, she's there <laughs> on top of Sam's jeans. <laughs> I got her for like 30 quid all in all, including postage and packaging. 
don't ask me what this is doing. I wanted something that looked synthetic, something that didn't look natural. There were a load of blonde wigs for like 30 quid that had sort of the roots, like natural roots. See, Barbies don't have roots, okay? So I went for like a blend of kind of natural because there's natural highlights in it, but it looks synthetic with the curls at the bottom. I just thought it looks really good. I was getting some contact lenses delivered today, but the delivery driver decided to turn up in the one meeting I have today. I have one meeting and that's when they turned up. And DPD apparently don't deliver on Saturdays. Um, so they were gonna deliver on Monday, which is after I'm gonna dress up as Barbie. So I've had to pay an extra fiver for them to come tomorrow before my party. It says between 12 and six. If they come at six, I'm gonna be so annoyed because I'm gonna wanna do my makeup. This needs to be Barbie perfect makeup tomorrow. Halloween fast approaching. I'm then gonna be carving my pumpkins on the 31st and obviously dressing up as Barbie again for the trick-or-treaters. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to edit this vlog and get it out early on in November, as early as possible. We'll see though. We will see, I may be very busy. <laughs> bingo card, I suppose I could get back into the bingo card side of things. I did visit a beach on my Hindu. We were on the beach, I didn't go in the sea, but I walked on the beach, watched my mum fall in the sea. <laughs> um. So I did go to a beach, so I guess I could take that off. Um, so that is some bingo card progress. Maybe after I get married, there'll be like this quick rush for me to be able to take everything else off and get a line on my bingo card. Maybe that'll be November's um, November's goal. I think it feels really weird. Having planned a Hindu from January to September, and now it's happened, basically nine months of planning for the whole year has just it's been and gone now. It feels really bizarre and I, I reckon that's what the wedding's gonna feel like. It's gonna be two years of planning and the making and and then it's gonna happen and it's it's gonna feel really bizarre. I'm really thankful for the people that I invited to my Hindu for making it what it was and um, for helping me out and um, I had a bridesmaid and a bridesman really helped me out with travel. I feel like there was a few emotional roller coasters during the weekend but I think they ended up having a good time. I hope they did. It was really nice to see everyone there and hang out with them, have a, a stupid giggly moments like we're at a sleepover. I was expecting to get more drunk than I was and I was expecting to party longer than I did. I've not really had a trip away with a load of my friends like that before. So that was quite nice. But yeah, I think with October I'm just gonna see what happens because I have so many weekends free and not a lot of money to plan anything else other than what I have planned. So I'll just film updates when I can. Whatever happens, happens. I don't even know if I'm having a Halloween get together or something. It's Halloween on my channel on Twitch so that's where I do like horror games and get into some Halloween makeup and outfits and stuff. I'm excited to celebrate Halloween. I just can't believe how fast it's come up. I feel like Halloween has crept up so quickly. The past two weeks have flown by so fast. I can't even remember what I did. I feel like I was just in the motions, doing my wedding, going to work, doing my streams, editing my YouTubes. I feel like I've just, I've been in the motions of just doing stuff and not really paid attention to what was going on. The... <laughs> The injury from the Hindu is, it's seen bad days. So I'm hoping the nail's gonna be fine to put some new nails on for the wedding. Obviously the nails are looking a bit grown out um, and chipped and stuff. So it'd be nice to get some nice new nails on. I'll be getting my hair done either on the day of Halloween or just before. The end of the month's gonna feel so randomly hectic. It's gonna be weird. And Sam's currently putting all the centerpieces together. So he's just spray painting some of the items to go in the sp um, that are gonna go in the centerpieces. It's weird because it's like, I'm not nervous about getting married. I feel like, I feel like it's just the anticipation of planning an event for two years and then the events coming up and you're kind of overwhelmed with excitement, but also you want it to live up to the hype that you've generated over the two years of planning. 
kind of thing. You don't you don't want all this planning to kind of get to a certain point and then the day happens and you're like, oh, is that it? You know. It's also the financial pressure, you know, spending all this money on a pie and it gets to the pie, you want it to be a good pie. Um, so there'll be a little bit of financial pressure on ourselves to have fun and enjoy the day and make the most of it. Because it's like, well, what did we spend our money on then if we didn't make the most of it and we didn't enjoy it? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I know the day, the the few days after the wedding, I'm going to be on cloud nine and I'm just going to be so, I'm going to be so excited to get the pictures and the videos and stuff. So anyone who's watching this that's attending the wedding, I hope you took lots of pictures and videos for me because I'll need something to enjoy until my photographer sends me everything. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And um, if you have any comments, thoughts or feelings, make sure to comment below. If you liked the video, make sure to like it. But I will see you guys in um, the next vlog. Bye.